Only God can hang the stars in outer space Only He can make a rainbow from the rain Only God can part the seas to make a way There's nothing He can't do No, there's nothing He can't do Cause He can do anything, anything at all Giant too big, no mountain too tall I know God is powerful Yeah, anything He can do anything Anything at all Only God can hang the stars in outer space Only He can make a rainbow from the rain Only God can part the seas to make a myself. So I collected a bunch of rocks from my driveway. See? Now we need our dump truck. First, we're going to fill up the dump truck like this. Check this out! The dump truck is full! Now our dump truck has to travel all the way over here. Make your best truck sounds with me. Ready? Here we are. So on the count of three, I want everyone to say, dump those rocks. Ready? One, two, three. Dump those rocks. Who? Who? It's Hello, Zoe. Ho, ho. Moving some rocks, are you? I sure am, Ollie. I'm having so much fun making rock piles with my dump truck. Moving stones is fun. It's true. But that's not the only thing rocks can do. Listen to this story. 
Just follow me through. Hoo, hoo. Follow me through. Follow me through. Oh, hey, friends. I'm Justin, the mailman, and oh, it's hot outside. Hold on one second. Ah, I was so thirsty, which is actually a part of our story today. Are you ready for it? Well, let me just put the story mail in the mailbox and, uh... Ah! There we go. Today's true story from the Bible begins with... God's people. The Israelites, who were led by a man named Moses. Everyone say, hi, Moses. Hi, Moses and they all lived in the desert where it can get really hot and there was lots and lots of sand. But do you know what there wasn't a lot of? Water! There wasn't much water and the people started getting thirsty. Now, when you and I get thirsty, there are usually places where we could get water. But the Israelites did not have any water anywhere. They started whining and complaining because they were thirsty and didn't have any water. Moses knew the people needed water, but it was wrong to whine and complain. So he talked to God about it. Moses told God that the people felt like God wasn't helping them. But we know that God is always with us and has the power to help. Do you think God helped the thirsty people in the desert? Yes! God told Moses to go to a big rock and hit it with his staff. Whoa, look, it's water. God made water come out of a rock. He is so powerful. Only God could do that. The people drank the water and knew that God was there and had the power to help them. So the next time you need something, remember to talk to God about it because he has the power to help you. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is powerful? God is powerful. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is powerful? God is powerful. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. God brought water from a rock, and he can give us what we need, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, God is so powerful. He made water come out of a rock. Because God is so powerful, he can give us everything we need, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good! I can't make water come out of a rock, but I can keep moving them. Here we go! I'll see you next time. Bye! is our Lord and mighty in power. Psalm 147, five. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. Psalm 147, five.
Everybody, it's me, Haley. I thought today we could take a look at some of my past treasure hunting expeditions so you could see some of the perils of my profession. You've been warned, danger awaits. When you're searching for treasure, you're gonna need some wisdom. Wisdom is finding out what you should do and doing it. In other words, there's always planning involved. You shouldn't just rush in without thinking, like the time I went looking for treasures in the jungles of Peru. Okay, there I am, about to go into a cave, and I kinda miss that sign that says, watch out for large boulders. So, here's what happened. Signs are there for a reason, people. But, I learned my lesson. Look. Two paths leading to the same waterfall. The path on the right may be shorter, but look, there's a sign that says, caution, poison ivy. So I took the longer path and you know what happened? No calamine lotion necessary. <laughs> then later I got to the ancient ruins. There's a sign that says, warning, falling snakes. So guess what? I decided there's a safer place to explore. So when you're treasure hunting, it's important to look out for all of the warning signs. And as you'll find out in today's story, that's an important lesson in life too. 
a lesson I have already learned on my many, 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 many Peruvian adventures. <laughs> all right, not really. I've actually never been to Peru, but I'm getting pretty good at editing photos. Here's me on the moon. All right, I'll see you in a few. Bye. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Proverbs, Chapter 22, verse 3. When Solomon became king as a young man, he asked God for one thing, wisdom. And God made him one of the wisest men in the world. Years later, many of Solomon's wise sayings were collected and written down in the book of Proverbs. Check out these wise words in Proverbs 22, 3. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place. But childish people keep going and suffer for it. There's a lot to discover in these few short lines. First of all, it's important to remember to take time in your day to stop. Oops! It's easy to get so distracted that you don't stop. To take a breath and pay attention to what's going on around you. Second step, think. Look around you, look ahead. Do you see danger? Ask yourself, if I keep doing what I'm doing, what's going to happen? If I say the first thing that pops into my head and talk back to my mom, well, that might just lead to a week of no screen time. If I keep playing this video game and playing and playing instead of studying, I might bomb the test. If I ignore the sign that says playground closed for repairs, that could mean a trip to urgent care. God doesn't tell us the future but he has given us the common sense to think through what is most likely to happen right now based on what's going on around us. Oh, which brings us to our third step, act. Once you've taken time to stop and think it through, it's time to make your move. Maybe you realize the safe place in this case is to hold your tongue and say, yes, ma'am. Maybe your safe place is setting a timer for only five more minutes of game time before you study. Maybe your safe place is to walk right past that closed down playground, no matter how cool it looks. Foolish people barrel ahead without pausing to think. Wisdom stops, thinks, then acts. From the very beginning, God designed people with the ability to think and act according to his wisdom. And that's still true for each one of us today. So don't forget to stop, think, and then act. And as Solomon reminds us, wise people see danger and go to their safe place. But childish people, they keep going and suffer for it. Listen to what King Solomon wrote. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place but childish people keep going and suffer for it. Danger can come in all shapes and sizes. I'm not just talking about physical danger. Danger could be a suspicious looking website. It could be a friend you shouldn't hang out with. It could be a temptation to break a rule. And you might not have a sign to warn you when there's danger, but tell the truth. You know when something is dangerous, or at least you know when something might be dangerous. And that's your cue to try something different. Avoid the danger altogether. Or it's your cue to find out more information. When you want to do something you think might be dangerous, or if someone else is trying to get you to do something dangerous, don't just keep going without thinking about the consequences. Stop and think. Think about what Jesus would do, or talk to someone who's wiser than you. It might save you from trouble maybe even save you from a falling snake or two. Ah! Oh, it's not funny. The one thing to remember today is this. Think before you act. Look for the warning signs and avoid the danger. Then you'll be safe the next time you go to Antarctica. <laughs> that looks real, right? It totally looks real. <laughs> I'll see you next time.
feeling down You pick me up Sing I'm grateful for the way you've been a friend to me Sing oh, oh, oh. And even in the deepest, darkest night You help me see Sing it out now oh, 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 oh. I just wanna say thank you For the way you love me I wanna say thank you 